interact with the work without seeing you in it. And if you can allow people to engage with art without thinking that they're engaging with something that is very specifically the brainchild of another person, then I think it allows for them to approach the work in a much more honest way. Mm -hmm. Because no work of art exists until there is a public to perceive it. Mm -hmm. So... The viewer completes the work. Exactly. So... I'm always, in essence, putting forward something that has no author and I'm asking people to draw out their own subjective state of understanding and to bring themselves completely into a work because a work is half the person who created it and half the audience that interacts with it. Mm. So when I create these short films, what I'm asking people to do is to put their own narration over it. I don't include any dialogue in my film clips. It's entirely for the audience to watch and then add what they assume this assemblage of footage represents to them. Because that's all it really is. A young woman sits on her bed on a cold night. She's reading this book that she found, but there's something unsettling about it. She turns on her lamp and writes down her thoughts about the book, hoping to get it out of the system. She looks up at the ceiling. She grabs her book and goes downstairs, throws on her coat and her hat, and she goes outside. She crosses the street, holding the book, eager to let it go. As she passes a stranger, she hands him the book, and he accepts it. Artists will. The stranger had been painting lately, so he grabs the book and he walks down to his favorite park, sits down on the bench and reads. I'm gonna move on to the next point. What are the what are you trying to discover? Well, I suppose what I'm trying to discover is if subjective understanding and creative output is something that is inherent in everyone, or if it is something that has to be goaded out of an audience. Because when you walk out of a movie theater and you listen to everyone saying, this is what I think of film meant, this is what I think of film meant, at no point are the people discussing, this is what I think the filmmaker meant. Because at that point, once you've engaged the work and fully digested it, or maybe incompletely digested it, what you're really doing is saying, this is what that work meant to me, because at the end of the day, that's the only perception of that work that really matters. You know, if I walk out of a viewing of my own work, and I'm listening to everyone else, and I'm shaking my head going, oh no, that's not what I intended, well, it's like, tough shit. It's because you are putting something out there for everyone else. It's not, you know, I mean, of course, part of you is fulfilled in that creation, but without public perception and artwork in 
my eyes, especially a filmic one, is null and void. So it's funny. Uh, it seems as if this next question kind of has been answered in a sense, but what drives you? What drives me is the lethargy I see in audiences, especially filmic ones, because going to film school, so much of the education is based on the discussion and the discourse that comes about after watching something. So if an audience can champion a work and through that work find several different meanings, interpretations, thematic elements, that is like, in my uh, specific opinion, a work that has truly achieved what it's set out to do. If you can spur the creativity and the imaginations of other people, I think as an artist, it is in some ways beneficial to take a step back and allow that discourse to become the defining aspect of that work. Mm. Because ultimately you are making something to engage others in. And if the only person you're trying to appease is yourself, then I think in a lot of ways that you as an artist, while finding some fulfillment in it, also fail. I think uh, this definitely brings us into our next question, which is, like, who is your audience? Um, be a tough question, but how does all of this thinking and process relate to your viewers? Um, who do you want to see your work? Who do you want to experience your work? Is it a universal approach or is it something more complex? Do you gear your work towards a specific audience? Well, no, I can't say I do because when I make these short films that have no um, obvious narrational pattern to them or clear focus or plot, what I ask people to do is to list, to watch, and after watching however many times they may do, sit in a sort of isolated area and draw upon their own personal reflections and then bring that to the piece. So I make works that don't speak to any one demographic or to any one group. I find that the best works are works that can speak universally mm -hmm. because shared experience is the basis of all understanding amongst other people. So. I find that if you make a work that isolates any one group above another or champions a group above another, then what you're doing is creating a work that is unevenly accessible. So when I produce my work and when I present it like I did last semester in my graduate program, building these small cardboard boxes for people to stick their head in, I am very much asking people to be the everyman when they experience it, but to also be themselves. Because I find that a group setting when engaging with a filmic work is in many ways detrimental because, you know, you can sit in a movie theater and laugh with 200 other people, but in so much as that experience is freeing, it is also, in many ways, it just, it draws you back because the minute you laugh and the person next to you laughs at that same moment, you are aware of that person's presence. But the minute you laugh at something and they don't, you are immediately aware of that dichotomy. And mm -hmm. so I find that oftentimes watching something within a group setting causes people to become extremely self-conscious in themselves as a viewer. So um, in so much as the work I've created thus far, when I have created these viewing spaces for people to engage with my sort of you know non-authored works, mm -hmm. the idea is that they do it one by one. and the time to come together and watch it is afterwards once all of this footage has been compiled and there's essentially this film festival that people can engage with that is built upon the same visuals but dozens of different subjective interpretations. <laughs> giving the power to the individual voice of the viewer for once exactly as opposed to the individual voice of the director or the creator or the writer or whoever is behind the message that's coming across to the viewer exactly what I'm trying to do is create and then sit there with the audience and watch what they have created with them as opposed to being like this is what I put forward the rest of you may just sort of do your best to keep up or make sense of what I've done as opposed to saying here is something, there is no right answer, there is no wrong answer, just engage. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.